All right, so that covers the general commands. Let's get into the specific modules. First off, milling. The first thing that I'd like to show you in milling is the improved performance and recognition in Manufacturing View. Now some of you may be unaware of Manufacturing View, however it has been available in past versions of CamWorks. Although the processing speed was not very fast, in CamWorks 2011 development has really worked on this algorithm and they've improved the performance by an average of 40 percent. And not only the performance but also on what types of features it can be found. So with that being said, by default in CamWorks 2011, the manufacturing view method will be the default selection along with tapered and filleted. Now let me give you some examples here. You'll notice in CamWorks 2010, no features were found by automatic feature recognition, commonly known as AFR, and in manufacturing view, 92 features were found. In CamWorks 2011, 92 features were found. However, the performance improvement was 30%. This particular part here, again, AFR did not find any features. In CamWorks 2010 Manufacturing View, it found 76 features. In CamWorks 2011 Manufacturing View found 85 features. And look at the performance improvement on this part, 65%. Let's take a look at another example. Again, AFR was not able to find any features. Manufacturing View in CamWorks 2010 found 33. Manufacturing view in CamWorks 2011 found 35 features and the performance improvement was 48 percent. So these numbers are quite impressive. But let's actually see a live presentation of the difference between 2010 and 2011. Okay, so let's look at CamWorks 2010. We're going to extract machine ball features it's initializing manufacturing view module and analyzing the part. Notice how long it takes. Let's look at rectangular slot number two. As you can clearly see the feature has not been defined correctly. And the same goes for the uh, pocket on the top as well. So what we're going to do is let's flip it over and look at the feature on the other side. You can clearly see here as well that that boss was not found correctly either. Let's take a look at CamWorks 2011 manufacturing view. We're going to do the exact same thing. Notice the time difference here. It's done. And let's take a look at the features. It has now found this particular feature correctly. Pocket number two has also been found correctly. Let's look at the back side. And you can see it is now found as an open pocket with a boss in the middle and that has also been found correctly. Start point support of end to out optimization. What we've done here is added support for a start position in the optimization method inside out, outside to in. Earlier this option was available in shortest path method only, but now it can be used with the other pattern methods. Okay, so let me show you how this works in 2011. Notice the method I have picked is shortest path. Entity select is available, inside to out, entity select is available, and outside to in, entity select is available. Let's go ahead and pick an entity, and we'll do a preview. Now what you'll notice there is that it tried to start at the entity you picked, however your method was set outside to in and inside to out. So with that being said, just keep in mind that it's not always going to be the entity that you picked. It's going to try to start at the closest entity that you selected based on your pattern. Insert multi-surface feature on insert setup. This will allow the automatic creation of multi-surface feature during insert mill part setup. Ultimately what this does for you is it reduces the manual efforts of inserting a multi-surface feature in mill. And the interaction will be similar to face and perimeter features that are inserted from the insert mill part setup in CamWorks 2010.
feed rate changes without toolpath regeneration. This is awesome. It works in three axis and five axis operations and what it does is it eliminates the time for toolpath recalculation if you've changed the feed rate. But not only the feed rate, it also applies to the spindle RPM as well. This is a great time saver. Support for contain and avoid areas, point operations such as center drills, drill, bore, tab, etc. This also applies in part documents as well. However, you do need to be aware that the avoid or contain is extended infinite. Insert Operation Command. What we've done here for Camworks 2011 is completely revamped the user interface on the Insert Operation Command. So what that does for you is it simplifies the ability. Users can create feature setups using the same UI and there's also new flyout icons in Camworks Toolbar. So as you can see right now, this is our standard insert operation. But in Camworks 2011, you can now see that it's been moved over to the SolidWorks property dialog tree. It's all within the same dialog. There is no next and back and so forth. Gives you an example of a bore, two axis contour. Here's a roughing operation and a two axis contour operation. And lastly, the new flyout icons in the Camworks toolbar as you see them here. Okay, so that concludes the updates and enhancements for milling. Let's talk about turning. User-defined turn inserts. As you turning guys are fully aware, it's not always possible to use standardized tooling for turning. So in Camworks 2011, we have added the ability to define turn inserts. Along with this, the work in process is updated with the user defined insert shape and just be advised if you're familiar with the, the custom form tools and, and holders in milling it's basically done the exact same way. Let me give you an example of an OD and ID user defined turn insert. Okay, so you can see we've created a tool and I'm going to save it as a turn insert We're going to go in the technology database. We're going to go to our inserts and now you see user defined. I'll browse for the location of that turn insert. Click the little pencil, make sure that the database registers it. We'll go create a tool assembly. As you can see user defined and there's that tool that I just created. and we'll give it a quick comment here, user defined insert for the OD. Now let's go to an actual part and as you can see we've got a generic groove which is those little V on the, on the uh, OD And right now, Camworks is using standard tooling to machine this, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and replace this tool, or add, in this case, the user-defined tool. Bottom one here. and you can see that the display has been modified. Let's go to the side. Uh, it looks like I need to put an offset in there. Let's go 10 and do a preview. And that looks great. Let's look at an ID. This one's a little bit more involved. Do a section view so you can see it a little bit better. And we'll step through it. And there you go.